The purpose of this video is to explain how to assemble a GF Instruments CMD series electromagnetic conductivity meter. We will not be discussing the theory of electromagnetic conductivity methods. There are four parts of the probe that need to be connected, with labels T and I indicating which pieces are put together. Inside each piece are five pin connectors, male and female adapters. Connect the cables in the probe in the proper order, push into place and turn the bayonet rings to assemble the probe completely. There is a notch and a depression in each probe that must align before they can be tightly pushed together. It is important to decide if you want to acquire data with the dipoles oriented vertically, high, or horizontally, low. All the probes have two positions marked as high, maximum depth range, and low, shallower depth range. Based on the character of the transmitted signals, studies have shown that the low mode is best for defining small point targets, but this comes at the sacrifice of the depth range. If you want to measure at maximum depth range, turn the probe so that the black strip and high label are on the upper side. If you want to measure with half depth range, turn the probe so that the black strip and low label are on the upper side. The control unit can be attached to the probe using a ring and stem system. When doing it this way, it is necessary to fix the holder to one of the two proper positions. The ring has two holes in it. Each of these is positioned to properly attach the CMDC to the probe in either high or low mode. The probe has a fixing tip that must fit into one of the two holes. The CMD Mini Explorer has a handle that connects to the probe, which then Bluetooths to the CMDC. A data cable is connected between the handle of the CMD Mini Explorer and the probe. you are now ready to start acquiring data. THG Geophysics is the U.S. representative for GF Instruments. Please contact us directly for more detailed equipment information and pricing options at www.thggeophysics.com.